Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Not Afraid to Garden. So today we're in my kitchen and what I want to do today is I want to be able to kind of split this uh, plant up um, into a different couple of get a couple of plants out of this. So it has grown, overgrown its container. And I have this, um, and this is my Syngonium, and I think I believe it's called like Evergreen. Um, so it has grown, I've had it for probably maybe a year and a half, <clears throat> excuse me. And if it's, I've had it in LECA, it's not in soil, it's in LECA. So I don't know if you guys have uh, heard of LECA. I know many of you guys, um, you know, are familiar with this, but if you're just beginners with uh, indoor gardens, so it's actually just an acronym of the uh, lightweight expanded clay aggregate. So they call it LECA, and this is actually, it's clay. They're bald clay um, in which you actually plant your, um, your plants, um, put your plants in. So it, it's, rather than using soil um, then you use the LECA. So I did a little research on this and um, it's got its advantage and disadvantage. So this was more like a test for me. So I wanted to find out how LECA would work for me. I know a lot of people you know again have different opinions about it um, but now that it's been a year and a half, I can probably probably put my two cents in of um, advice on this or my opinion. So I would definitely continue to use LECA. So for now, again, I have this plant in, in LECA and I have another plant in the um, greenhouse. And they're doing wonderful. I have actually no complaints about the LECA using it, but the only problem for me is that it's pretty expensive. So all of my plants, they are planted in soil. Um, so this one, um, again, there was a test. So what I'm gonna do is actually place an order at Amazon. So I ordered a five pound bag of LECA um, to plant some of the smaller plants, only because if I'm going to buy LECA for all my large flower pots, I'm going to spend a lot of money on that. So, um, so it is costly, guys. So this is something, an investment that you have to really think about, um, you know, if you want to spend the money on that. Um, and LECA, again, it's, you, the, the, so the way it works is actually um, when you water your plants, the clay absorbs the water and, and it expands. So then eventually it starts to release that water little by little and then that water is being released directly to the roots of the plant. So that's the advantage also that LECA has. So um, if you're a person that you're not home, you know, all the time and you need to, you know, water your plants often, um, this is probably the way to go because you can put in a little bit extra of water and and it takes pretty much care of itself a little, you know, a couple of days more than what you w it would with the soil. So this plant, believe it or not, I only water this maybe every two weeks. Um, so again, because that clay has absorbed that water and it's releasing it little by little. Um, so that's why I don't have to water this one as often. And I like that because in the summertime, my husband and I, we do travel uh, quite a little bit over the weekends. And, um, and again, with all these plants here, I don't have time to water all of them. So um, again, I can invest on um, buying LECA for all the plants, but at least if I start maybe little by little, um, I can probably make my way to you know, replace most of my plants. So what I'm gonna to do today is, also this is an experiment because I've never repotted a plant with LECA. So I have to figure out now how easy is it gonna come apart here because it's pretty rooted in here. Um, maybe you guys can see, but look at all the roots underneath in there. How beautiful those roots look and how healthy it is. Look at that. I wish I didn't have to take it apart, but again, it's, I feel it's, it's root bound um, and I do have to take it apart from here. So, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to 
try to get a couple of clippings from here and then I've got my sphagnum moss here and I purchased my container I bought this um, Walmart the other day and I think I only spent like three something almost four dollars on this container and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those clippings although they have roots on them um, I'm still going to place them in the sphagnum moss until I'm ready to to get a flower pot because actually I prefer for the roots to get longer to grow more um, before planting it so I'm just going to put a little bit of the sphagnum moss in here actually that made it too much I don't need that much in there um, and then this will allow them to, to grow more of the roots in here. Um, so again, with the sphagnum moss, you can propagate with this. I talked about in my other videos um, where you actually use the sphagnum moss to, to propagate. So then, again, put a little water. I'm going to put warm water in here just to wet it, to absorb that water. Um, and another little trick, guys, that I have is I actually, when I water my plants, I water my plants with warm water, not cold water. Because the warm water is also helping them um, to mature those roots and to grow a little bit better. Um, so that's a little trick that I have. Um, I do water them with warm water. Alright, so the moss is absorbing most of my water that I put in here in just a few minutes, guys. This you're not gonna see probably a drop of water in here because the moss is like a sponge. So it'll absorb all that. Alright, now down to the plant and to see how easy again is to repot a plant. Um, that you have in Mecca. So right now, as I don't want to hurt the plant, but if I pull it like this, all those roots are again, are contained in there. They're wrapped around the Mecca and they're wrapped around underneath here. So I think my only other option will be is with my scissors here. I'm probably going to have to Try to dig down as much as I can. And I'm gonna wonder, let me see if I can take out. It doesn't have much water, guys. See that little bit of water that just came out? And actually, like I said, I haven't watered this in, um, it's probably gonna be two weeks. No water. But look how healthy it is. Um, oh, I had one leaf that came off. We don't want that. So maybe, maybe we go. Maybe try to move around. So I've got in there. Maybe it'll give me a little bit more movement um, with the roots in there. So I'm gonna have to make. A decision here guys I'm going to cut it but again these plants have their roots that grows out so oh, look at that that's a good one look at that guys the roots are pretty good so so that's my first one. And then what I'm gonna do is, so this, hmm, actually this is not gonna work in this container unless I lay it down. If I lay it down, I'm gonna put the plant like this. And I have my moss on top of the roots there. That should be fine. And this is not for long, guys. I'm only gonna leave this in here for, Probably I don't know maybe two to three weeks and then I'll take them out and I'll and I'll replant them. 
Um, I'm not going to actually take all of these out. I'm going to leave some in here. I just want to be able to free up some of this space so that way it can continue to grow. Um, but I'm okay with trimming it this way because I'm bringing the roots with me. So as you can see guys, it's not that simple to repot. Maybe it's the container that I have. Maybe it's because it's too closed in, narrow at the top here. Maybe I should just use a container that's open, has the open um, mouth completely there. I think that will help me. So I grabbed another one with roots. So I'm just gonna put that one next to this one. Put it in the container here my moss on top and I think I'm going to grab one more um, but as you can see guys I definitely I I can say that I do like the LECA I like using it I like that the idea that I don't have to water every week and if I skip a week or two I'm fine because again the clay is absorbing that water and and it's giving me free time to be able to you know for me to come back from wherever i am to water this plant so maybe um go around and take a look at the plants that need more watering and maybe that will you can make a decision as to which plants actually get the leca um if, if you can't afford to to use like a, on all of your plants. So that's actually my decision on that. So I'm going to go around and select um, the plants that need water the most. I'll use Leka because I don't have to water as often when I'm away. Okay. So that's what, um, that's my decision on that. So guys, based on this, I don't know if you guys want to, you know, if you have any comments on this LECA. Um, again, you can find this in your nursery store. You can find this, I believe, uh, I'm not sure if Home Depot or Lowe's carries, carries this. Um, what I have, I've ordered on Amazon. And again, like I said, I placed another order in Amazon and I'm waiting for that to come in. And then I'm just gonna go around and again, select those plants that I do wanna place in the Leka. But I will use the container more of an open container so that way I don't have to go through this issue because right now I can't take this apart because it's wider on the bottom down here. So that was my mistake. Um, so I'll make sure that I, that doesn't happen again. And, um, and another thing is that um, this prevents also uh, gnats and any other little bugs that you get in the plants with the soil. Um, so those are positive things to take a look at. Um, they're positive enough for me to continue to use the LECA, uh, but that's just my opinion. So um, I hope that this gives you an opportunity to, you know, maybe for you to decide and maybe give it a try, maybe test it. Um, the same way I did. I, I tested this for a year and a half and it definitely worked and you guys you saw how beautiful how beautiful this plant is definitely going um, growing in. So um, so leave me any comments that you guys might have. I'm not sure if you know if this is if you like this idea, if you want to continue with soil. Um, so that's another option for you. So I'm going to put this away and I'm going to leave this this way and then allow it to continue to grow and once it gets full again I'll do the follow the same process and then I'll just and, and again this is how I'm continuing to um, to expand my collection so um, I have this is the only syngonium the, the the evergreen that I have but now I have four clippings here so I can start um, four different plants with this uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe Hit that notification button and don't forget to like. Thanks guys. Bye.